how's it going people, cheap bastard talking to ya. As always I have a really interesting video for you guys. Can a Pentium still play games? And by that we are going to test games that people play today. To answer this question I actually went out and bought the processor. Wow, I can't believe I did that. So my test system contains 8GB of DDR3 1600MHz RAM, of course Pentium G3240 and KFA2 GTX 1063GB. Let's just jump into this guys. Starting off with the benchmarks we have Overwatch. When I first loaded up the game, the gameplay was super laggy, so I was forced to reduce settings. With 720p and the third settings, we got an average of 54.8 FPS, a minimum of 26.7, and a maximum of 67.9 FPS. Maybe the benchmarks were decent, but the gameplay was not really enjoyable. Moving on, we have Need for Speed Payback. Well, there's not much to say. You wait a little bit, and this happens. You can't even open the game. The next game is Fortnite. When I first booted up the game, the gameplay was a little bit like this. And at this point I was so frustrated that they had a mental breakdown. So, at almost 4 settings we got an average of 51.3 FPS, a minimum of 4.7 FPS and a maximum of 60.2 FPS. Moving on we got CSGO. The first round that they played was terrible, the gameplay was very laggy. But when we reduced the settings, the gameplay was really good for a Pentium and we got an average of 59.9 FPS, a minimum of 7.9 FPS and a maximum of 151 FPS. Next game is GTA 5. I expected the game crashing, but the gameplay was actually playable. It was playable only with the VSync on, otherwise it was freezing and stuttering. We got an average frame rate of 30 FPS, a minimum of 8.6 and a maximum of 32 FPS. Well, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, consider subs. I'm getting the report that we have time for the bonus game. And it's the Tomb Raider. First, gameplay experience was excellent, there was no need to change the settings and the most importantly, there was no lag. I had so much fun playing that I forgot I was benchmarking. So, we got an average of 123 FPS, a minimum of 40 and a finally impressive maximum of 260 FPS. To conclude, if you want to play with a Pentium, you can. But I'm not recommending, almost every time the CPU was like and the GPU was like Thank you for watching this video, if you liked it, consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. Stay cheap folks, cheap bastard out.